Hello and welcome to your fifth grade science class. We will be beginning the Patterns in the Sky unit, discussing the Sun, Earth, and Moon systems. Let's get started. Your learning target for today is I will learn that patterns in the sky stay the same, but appear to change nightly and throughout the year. Our Milky Way galaxy has billions of stars. Scientists estimate that there may be 70 billion trillion stars in the universe. A star is a giant ball of hot gases that release energy. Stars are very far away from Earth. The star that is nearest to us and the one that is most important for us is the sun. It provides energy and light to living things here on Earth. Although the sun seems to be the brightest star in the sky, many stars are much bigger, brighter, and hotter than the sun. Others are smaller, dimmer, and cooler. During the day, you cannot see stars because the sun is so bright. Even at night, if you're in a city that has many lights or if the sky is not clear, you may be able to see only a few of the brightest stars. The light from stars that are very far away appears faint when it reaches Earth. A telescope is needed to see very faint or very distant stars. Remember that a light source looks brighter if it is close to us and it looks dimmer if it's far away. Some of the stars that look brightest to us are in fact average, but they are so close to our solar system that their light seems especially bright. At the same time, there are very bright stars that are so far away from us that they look faint. A compass is a magnetic needle that is free to spin. The Earth has a natural magnetic field that causes this needle to spin until it points north. People use compasses to find their way around. But what do you do if you don't have a compass? You can still find out where you are and which way you should go just by looking at the stars. In the Northern Hemisphere, the North Star, or Polaris, appears in the sky above the North Pole. Earth spins on its axis and the North Pole is at the northern end of the axis. Polaris stays within the same small region of the sky. The stars near it do not rise or set. They seem to revolve around Polaris. They include stars in the constellations Ursa Major, the Great Bear, and Ursa Minor, the Little Bear. So let's review what we learned. Scientists estimate that there may be 70 billion trillion stars in the universe. That's a lot of stars. While the sun is the star nearest to Earth, scientists still reach out to the depths of space to learn more about the universe. For thousands of years, people have noticed that the stars appear in shapes and patterns in the sky. These star patterns are called constellations. Astronomers have divided the sky into 88 constellations. While the patterns of constellations stay the same, some constellations are visible only during certain seasons. This is because Earth orbits on its axis, which changes the visibility of stars in the sky. One star that always seems to stay within the same small region of the sky is the North Star, or Polaris. Polaris is at the northern end of Earth's axis, above the North Pole. If you were to stand at the North Pole, all the other stars would not rise or fall. They would only seem to revolve around Polaris. Got it? Sure you do. 